Hey guys, it's Guppy Fishy, and today I'm going to be showing you all of my polymer clay sculptures that I've made in the past. So, I haven't really been making them recently, but I had a, um, there was a period of time where I made a ton of them. And so, let's get started. So, the first one that I ever made was this one right here. And it's Stray Cat from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty good for my first one. Um, but I later added the resin eyes to this to make it, like, shiny. But I didn't have resin at the time. And, uh, I used, like, a ton of layers of paint because I thought that you should, like, do that. But only, you really only need, like, two or three layers of paint max in order to get a smooth coat. I, I had, I had, like, ten layers of paint. It was just so thinned out. But overall, I like it. He's pretty cute. And then, oh, what did I make second? I think that the second one I made was this guppy and uh it's a pretty realistic guppy um he's got like little eyes and stuff here's the other side and uh i like to use this um chalk and stuff to make like gradients easier and yeah i like it he's like the exact same size as like a real guppy and uh yeah he's pretty cool and then, yeah, I don't know if these, I'm trying to make it in order of, like, the time I made them, but I don't have a good memory, so I'm pretty sure I made the koi after the guppy. <laughs> and, uh, people tend to like the koi a lot. People have shown him. He's coated entirely in resin, so he's, like, shiny. I thought that'd be a nice touch because the koi fish are always so, like, shiny and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I really like how the pattern came out on him. Here's the underside. There's not much. I didn't do much on the underside, but the pattern is pretty nice. Here's his little mouth. Yep. So that's that one. I want to make some more koi fish, maybe like a black and yellow or a black and red. Or just some more so I can give them to my friends. That'd be cool. Uh, let's see. What's next? Um, let's go with this guy. So, this is a little frog guy. His uh, in insides are coming out. Okay, so basically, um, this is my first attempt at like a ball joint or just like a jointed figurine that like can move and stuff. Um, so yeah, this um is clearly inspired from a frog. I forgot which type of frog, but I like to take inspiration from real animals and their colors and then incorporate it into these weird and wacky figurines that I have, so he's pretty cool. <laughs> and then let's see, after that I probably made this galaxy lobster. So he's got some uh, constellations on his back. And, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there are some sparkles on him, too. Um, but they're very small. I don't think the camera picks them up quite well. Here's his little face. And then, uh, here's his back, his underside. Which I did actually add some little scales or, like, plates. And then I like to do this thing where, like, I, uh, paint some, like, highlights and stuff on certain areas such as like the joints and like like right here where the balls like connect just because I think it adds some dimension to it instead of just painting it all a flat color let's see here we got some smaller ones here this is um oh there goes the pretzel <laughs> here's the pretzel there's not much to it it's just a pretzel but this is real salt, and I used I like stuck it using resin. So if you're wondering why the salt's so realistic, that's why. <laughs> and then this is a little ornament I made. It's a taiyaki. It's like a Japanese like fish pancake sort of guy. And yeah, it's just made using chalk and stuff. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cute. There's nothing much to this. I just added. He just has a bit of detail. And then we got this little picnic duck. 
he's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really like him that much. This is probably my least favorite one out of all of them. But he's got like a blue eye, which I think the eyes turned out pretty well. They're also made with resin. I pretty much coat all of my guys' eyes with resin. And then I just painted this pattern. I like, I did the folds pretty well though. It looks pretty believable. But yeah, and then here's his mouth. All right, down to the last few. This is one of my favorite fish um, in real life. It's not one of my favorite figurines, but it is a mola mola or ocean, ocean sunfish. And so, yeah, they're pretty cool. Fun fact about mola molas is uh, they gain like multiple pounds every day and they can't feel pain. So, yeah, I think we could all learn a little bit from this guy, you know, he's just so cool. Here's his eyes. And then uh, his tail patterns. Probably could have drawn these a bit darker, but it's all right. It's pretty cool. And then, all right, I really like this one. This is the Eldritch Warlock Crab. And this is the most ambitious one so far. Um, in terms of like detail and stuff like look at his claws. They got like they kind of looks like teeth and then his gauntlet has like an eye On it. It's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a monster in itself. Then here's a smaller claw Here's his back which has some like scales on it very lightly and then here's his underside which is actually pretty akin to a crab too and yeah, don't ask why I added a big nose and lips to him, but I think it just kind of works, you know? Like, <laughs> if I saw this scuttling across a beach, I don't think I would question a single thing. And he's got some very beautiful eyes. They just stare into your soul. So yeah, he's pretty cool. This has got to be one of my favorite ones so far, just because he's so silly. And uh, yeah, he's... I love the colors too. This is also inspired by a real crab, but I did um, alter the colors a bit, but yeah. And then, this is the second to last one. This is actually a humanoid I actually made, and I talked about this in my uh, last video about my uh, sculpture collection, and I showed a picture of this guy. Um, feel free to check that out in the corner below. I'll put a link there. And uh, I used a real uh, nylon hair for him, and he's like a fish guy, so here we go. We got his face. He's uh, very uh, muscular, <laughs> at, least, at least here, but not so much in his arms. He needs to do some bicep and tricep workouts. Um, <laughs> and then we got his uh, rope, some pants, and then his feet. And then here's the back side. Let me just move this hair. So yeah, we got that. And he's got like a necklace thing. At the time, I didn't have like the right colors. This is supposed to be like a really neon color. But um, fun fact, you can't actually mix that colors with that particular shade with just um, red, um, yellow, and green because there's like certain chemicals in the paint. And, uh, you know, it's just not possible to mix certain colors. You actually have to, you know, buy them yourself. <laughs> or, like, get the secondary colors as well. But, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I, I learned that later. But I think it still turned out pretty well. I, I nailed the hairstyle the way I wanted to. Let me just move that there. But, yeah. And then, finally, the last uh, guy, which I really like this. We got, it's another movable one, it's the Eldritch Narwhal, so he's pretty cool. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the movable joints thing, it's pretty hard, but yeah, he's, he's pretty big, so we, he's got like this uh, three, three eyes, and then here's his mouth and long horn. This um, Narwhal and his colors was actually inspired by Lego Atlantis. 
Um, it just kind of reminds me of the Lego Atlantis colors and the overall feel. I drew like this uh, water pattern all the way um, across his back and he's got like red on his tails and fins and hands. He's got like claws. And then here's his underside too. He's got like uh, some scratches and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Sorry, it's kind of hard to like see him in his full glory just because he's so big. But yeah, this is one I got. Like this is the color of blue that I was talking about that I wanted to use on the um, fish guy, but I didn't have. So I decided to go crazy with that. And I really like how this turned out. I just love the colors on it. Um, it. Took a lot of trial and error with the sculpture stuff. I actually used a combination of both air dry clay and uh, and polymer clay as well. So I added the air dry on afterward. Just kind of wanted to change some stuff up that I didn't like, but I really gave it my best on this one. His range of movement is a little bit kind of unnatural, but. I tried my best, okay, and then, uh, you know, the color has chipped off a little bit just because I didn't seal it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit scared of using sealant just because of the stories I've heard about it just being weird, but yeah, anyway, that was uh, all my figurines that I've made. I really want to get back into it, but it's just so time-consuming. Uh, and I haven't really had that much time, so I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, Yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so I can have more subscribers than my brother and until then I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye